Well, hello there. Today, we're gonna install this catch can in the STI. Stay tuned, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this in a custom setup. So first things first, I actually wanna mock up the intercooler here, just to make sure the catch can's gonna fit. Basically, I want it right over here by the turbocharger to help keep it warm, and so that the oil is a little bit uh, thinner and uh, it doesn't glom up on the demister pad. But we'll put the intercooler in here and just check to make sure everything fits. So all we're gonna do is actually mock this up. So mounting hardware is right about there. Again. Okay, so she sits roughly there. I know I have one more bracket that I gotta put on this side. When we pulled the plenum, I took it out for space. But we'll get to that. Uh, blow off valve is about the right position. Obviously, everything's shift over just a touch, but it gives us a good idea where the catch can is gonna go. I want, it, I want it close enough to the PCV valve so it has a pretty good uh, line, and then back to the intake. Now, I'll cut to a shot here of what the inside of the coupler to between the turbo and the inlet looks like without the catch can and you'll see why I want to put this in. Okay we're down here in the shop and basically the concept is we're going to use this piece of angle bracket and mount, mount the catch can like that and then use this piece of strap against the side right there like that and then I have this old piece of carbon fiber so this was a a prototype for a chain guard on a motorcycle and there's a couple of good sections of it here but basically I'm gonna make use that and uh, make, it a little, make it a little spicy so first things first we actually have to tap the back of this bracket now I've already done this one this bottom one last night prepping for this video I'm gonna do the top one now so we'll take it apart and uh, run a six millimeter tap through it so this is really soft aluminum you can see the threads already on the first side. I'm going to go through and do that on the top now. So while we have the bracket off, we're actually going to go and set it up as a template on the piece of angle iron so that we can put the holes in the right spot. We'll drill those out and then run a couple bolts through to hold it in place. So you can see I've got this already marked. Oops, I've already got this marked roughly where I want it. And now we're just going to use a punch to actually mark the holes. So this is obviously uh, pretty easy to, to drill through. I mean, it's aluminum, but because every one of our builds has to be about motorsport we're going to make this a little bit lighter so we're going to take the mill we're going to try to mill off some of this additional uh, material that we don't need okay so drilled that out it's nice and light pretty good spacing these are the holes for the actual bracket to the back of the catch can and then we're going to use this surface we're going to rough it up a little bit and bond the um, carbon fiber and the aluminum strut to it so nice roughed up surface and it makes it really easy for the epoxy to bond to it. So next we're going to take some acetone and just clean the surface off because we've had all kinds of cutting fluids and everything on this. Give it a good kind of wipe down. Now keep this as simple as possible. What we're going to do is basically line up the carbon and the strap. You can see I put a mark on this already. And we're just going to get them together and bond them just like that. So now comes the fun part. We're actually going to bond the three pieces together to make one structure. So without a doubt, I made up too much epoxy. But that's okay. Again, all we're going to do is brush it on here. It's fine. 
it's unfortunate the relief I cut in we're barely gonna be able to see it so basically only those who watched the video are gonna know it's even there but I'll take that Well, that's drying we're actually going to go do the alternator now put it on mock it out make sure that everything's good there and then get the serpentine belt So we got that roughed in. We're gonna start uh, getting everything hooked up and then tensioning everything. Gotta get the belt up and around this. Yeah, slowly we're just gonna crank up the alternator. There. I have to do that with my hand. tension you can just see where the darkness of the uh, where the bolt used to be sitting now plug in the alternator itself remember getting this one off is a pain there's a click connection there and finally hook in this guy right here the AC condenser which the AC definitely needs to be recharged on this car so it came out of the clamps and looks really good alignments good Got a little bit of readjustment right here but yeah like super amped very lightweight next up I'm going to add a couple of pop rivets in just to, to make sure that we have good mechanical bonding. And then we are going to go ahead, sand it up, and uh, prep for paint. Okay, here it is. All together, take a look at that. We got some carbon, aluminum, a little bit of milling, even, even painted the bolts the right way. It's just going to slide this in here. that down in there So we got this bolt tight now, we just got to do this top nut, drive that down with the impact here. Nice. Look at that. Gold, gold, carbon. What more can you possibly ask for? Next we're going to cut the line from the crankcase breather valve, the PCV, and go into the catch cam. Now astute viewers will notice that I'm going in on the outside versus on the inside. Uh, I'm going to try this because the demister pad is actually on this side and the way in industrial uses we do this is we go in through the open side 
and then use the demister pad to catch any small particles on the way out. So we're going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work the way we want to, we'll just switch the two sides back and forth. Cut to length, slide it on, and we'll just screw down this worm clamp. So next we got to take the outlet back into the intake. So we're just going to have to route that around here. It's going to be a little tricky, but shouldn't be too big of a deal here. So we got the line connected to the intake. Now we're going to plug it into the outlet of the catch can. Right like that. I think I'm just going to route it like this over top of the um, coolant catch can or cooling expansion tank rather. See how that feels in the end. Awesome, there we go. I'm super happy with how this all turned out. Now we have the alternator back on and we have this catch can in. This has been such an important piece for me. As you can tell, I've taken a long time to do this. My beard's changed, wearing different clothes, but the fact is this was so well worth it. I got some of my own carbon fiber on here as well as some custom pieces that I've built, you know, done a little bit of fabrication. It feels so good to get back into doing that. Now, there's one thing I did want to address, and that is the difference between my setup and a JDM setup. If you guys watch the channel Super Beast at Edmonton, you'll notice that when he did his catch can, it went down here. Now, with a JDM car, all the steering assembly is on this side. So he couldn't put his up here, he had to put it down here. This is a US car, or a USDM car. So I was able to fit mine up here, and again, like I said, right by the turbo, so it's gonna keep nice and warm. Now, this isn't a Perrin or a Cobb system where it's an oil return and use an air oil separator, but I want to try this one first. Number one, I want to see how much oil I was catching. And number two, if I decide to go down that route, I can always reuse the existing lines that we've plumbed in here. Now that we've got the plenum back in, it would have been way harder to do with that work getting down to the PCV valve. So really happy with this install and cannot get over how well it turned out. So that pretty much wraps up this video. We did everything we said we were going to. We got the catch can in, we got the alternator on. I'm super excited. Next time, what we're gonna do is get the intercooler back in, all the rest of this plumbing done, and hopefully go to a cold start. I'm super excited for that. Please stay tuned. This project is just getting started and I'm looking forward to going on this adventure with you guys. Please like, comment, and definitely subscribe. We're a new channel, we're trying to get started here, and your support really means a lot to us. Thanks again, have a great night, and we'll see you in the next one.